If you try to use a CFD to simulate a fire, you probably are using one of the most popular tools in the world, Fire Dynamic Simulator by NIST. Setting up a scenario in FDS can be really challenging, just writing the code by yourself, but there is a really good companion that can help you with this task, providing you with a really nice user interface. The tool that we are gonna check together today is called BFDS. It used to be called Blender FDS, but today has a different name. It was released only a few weeks ago, and today I'm gonna show you how you can easily install on your computer. It's gonna cost you zero dollar, and it's gonna help you quite a lot in developing all the basic code that you need for your FDS simulation. Hello everyone, I'm Professor Rino, and I have over 10 years experience in research related to fire protection engineering. As a hobby, I like to make video to show people to use new exciting uh, tool and optimize and automate your workflow for fire protection engineering. If you want to see more, I have a playlist on this topic. The tool that we are going to analyze today is Blender FDS and it works with FDS. I have already made a short introduction about what is FDS. FDS stands for Fire Dynamic Simulator. It's a really powerful CFD software developed to simulate the spread of smoke and fire inside a building geometry. It was developed by the Fire Division at the National Institute of Standard Technology back in the USA, where I've been working several times, so really nice place to do research. FDS is a large eddy simulation code for uh, low speed flow and the tool was designed focusing on uh, heat transfer and fires. It can be used for many other applications but always be careful on the main assumption behind this software. And then we are going to go and see how to install it and analyzing all the different parts of the user interface of BFDS and see how we can generate quite easily an FDS scenario that can be run straight away on your PC. So let's go and have a look at it. So first of all, we need to make sure that FDS is installed on your PC or to do it, you basically go to the NIST page of FDS and you click on the download session and you'll see that you have the possibility to install FDS on uh, different types of uh, operative system. In this case, we are going to use uh, Windows machine, but you can do the same with uh, Mac or Linux. So you need just to click here and download the file. The same thing is about Blender. You go to blender.org and you go to the download section. And what you need to do is to press here to install the Windows version. You can see that there are other uh, versions for different operative system. In this case, I'm going to just use the Windows version. And the final tool that we are going to use is a plugin that works within Blender. To find it, you need to type firetools.org and you will see the Blender FDS, or actually the new name is BFDS, it's right here. So this is a tool that was developed by a really dear colleague of mine, Emanuele Gissi, another Italian in the show. And if we click here and learn more, you will see that you have all the basic information about Blender FDS. You should stop calling it like that. BFDS and uh, if we want to install it we need to go of course in the install section and it's gonna drive us to the github repository so to install it you need to go to release node here then you click on BFDS 7 you see that is asking you that you need to have a blender and FDS installed on your PC and once we are in this page you can see Emanuele here that he has just released this plugin for us not long ago, last week basically. You can uh, press BFDS7 and download the package. So this is the folder where we have been downloading all the file. I'm gonna start with the installation of FDS6. So here it might be detected as a malware. We trust NIST, so I'm gonna run anyway. So the first things that you will see that there will be a extraction of the file and then you are gonna end up having this uh, user interface and it's asking you if you want to install the standard version of FDS. I'm going to press yes. Otherwise, you can have a customized version where you can decide where to install it. You'll see that the process is relatively fast and that the installation has been completed and it asked me to reboot the computer to make sure that everything works well. The next step for me is going to be to install Blender. So I'm going to open the installation file you're gonna get something looking like this I'm gonna press next next 
install. Also in this case the installation is quite straightforward, nothing really challenging. So let's wait a few seconds to have Blender install of this computer. You can see the installation has been uh, done and we are gonna just unclick here. I'm gonna make a donation today for Blender, probably in the future, and then press on finish. So if I go now to search for Blender, it's gonna be now available on my PC. I'm opening it and you will see that it will take a bit of a few seconds to open. This is how the user interface is looking like. If you press on somewhere in the screen, you will see that the panel will disappear. Blender is uh, a bit overwhelming at the beginning. I guess with the latest release, they managed to make it more user friendly. I still remember a few years ago when I was trying to use it, it was pretty challenging to do it. So the next step for us will be to install EFDS. To do it, you need to go to Edits and Preference, and we are going to click here on Add-ons and on this small arrow here, install from disk and what i'm gonna do is to go to the folder where i've downloaded bfds so you can see that the zip file is here i'm gonna double click on it and install it and you will see that the process will take only a few seconds now bfds is already here installed you can see that you can go back to the github uh, web page and uh, what i suggest you to do is to load the default BFDS setting and it's gonna start looking like this. We are gonna spend now a bit of time to analyze what we have in the scene and how we can move uh, between the different uh, uh, parts of uh, BFDS. Before doing that, I'm gonna reboot my PC to make sure that FDS is not gonna have any issues in running those scenarios. So do it as well like me and let's go back to BFDS in few seconds. So the next step of this video is going to be going through all the part and all the section of the FDS. There is a really nice documentation page you can go and uh, read. I strongly suggest you to go and have a look at all the documentation. It's uh, really well explained and there are a lot of good examples that will help you understand even further all the stuff you can do with this beautiful BFDS. While doing so, another thing that I want to remind you is, is to support this channel. We are making a lot of video for you, for the fire protection engineering community. And the only things that we need is your support by pressing like, subscribing to this channel, pressing the bell, you know, all the drill. So let's go back and see what BFDS looks like and how we can use it. So we are back to Blender. This is the starting scene. It might look a bit overwhelming. But it's not really you need just to familiarize with it and spend a bit of time uh, using this tool you can see here that we have the fds tab if we want to close it you need just to press n let's click on the scene and press n and you'll see that it's gonna appear and disappear so since i want to show you all the key that i'm pressing uh, on my keyboards and what i'm doing with my mouse i'm gonna install another plugin in this case we need to go to edit preference and call and type here screen so you can see here that is within the extension we need to just press install and it's gonna appear right here on the right hand side on this tab we can close here and i'm gonna select screencast keys so you'll see that this is gonna appear here and it's gonna help us to see what i'm clicking with my mouse you can see that depending on the different clicks you can see that you can now visualize whatever I'm doing with my mouse. So as I mentioned before, we are going to press N to close this tab or N to reopen. You'll see that it's appearing here. And this is the FDS tab. And here you can see that there are different features that we can use. We can run FDS straight away. But before doing it, I want to explore with you all the project and then try to running it from Blender. So you can see here that we have all the main elements that you will need for a simple FDS scenario. So first of all, you will see that there is a mesh and boundary condition. Then you will see that there is a box. You can see as I selected, they get highlighted here. There is a burner and there is also a slice. Roughly it's what you really need for a simple simulation. But before going here, 
and checking these element in details one by one, we can go and see this other section of Blender FDS. You can see here that we have the scene and here you can see that you have the possibility to name the simulation and there are other uh, parameters that we will see later. And here you can see that uh, this specific simulation is going to use uh, two processing and you can use as many as many core you have on uh, your CPU. And here you'll see that there are all the other standard FDS uh, information that you will have for your simulation. Here you can see that is the name of the file. So if we decide to change it here and call it test one, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be changed also in this part too. So here you have the possibility to modify the duration of your simulation. You can see here that it's going to last 10 seconds. Let's assume that we want to run this simulation for 60 seconds. You go and change here. And uh, here you can see there are all the other inputs that you, you might need to add in uh, FPS. In this case, you can see that the standard reaction for this specific project is defined here. And you see the formula of the material here that is burning the CO yield. So the amount of CO that get released because the combustion is not fully happening. There is not enough oxygen. Then you have also soot yield. So you will see that you have the possibility to change it. Heat of combustion as well as you can go and see different handbooks and see the latest paper about which material you want to simulate and uh, modify these uh, three parameters accordingly. Let's go and have a look at the items in this simulation. So here, let's go and open the domain. So you can see that has been selected and let's go in the object section. So here you will see that you have all the information about this element. You can see that FDS mesh is selected here and you can see here that this element has been defined as a mesh. You have the possibility to change it depending on the FDS object that you are trying to represent. In this case, we are not going to change it. And you can also see the number of uh, uh, cell that you have in uh, this simulation. And you can see that on the zeta axis, we have uh, two different mesh. The mesh has been split in two. If you want to see uh, the results on how it's going to operate in FDS, you press show geometry. And you can see here now the visualization of the two domain, basically the two meshes that we are going to use. So that's explain why we had two MPI. Two so let's go and have a look at the other element. In this case, this element it's for opening you can see that it's a vent surrounding the full domain the full domain is gonna be open so you will see the smoke getting out potentially in any direction then let's go and have a look at the geometry you can see here that we can still see the domains if you really don't want to see this information you can go back and hide the fps geometry and in this case i'm not really gonna use much this vent I'm gonna leave it as it is so I'm gonna press here on the side to make it disappear it's gonna make the experience much more pleasant for me so here you can see that there is the box and is defined as a obstacle OBST and you can see here you have the possibility to rename it and in this case has been defined as a boundary box soon we are gonna see different example when this option is not really useful for us so this is the the burner it is a vent you can see here has been defined as a vent this is the name that can be changed and the surface property that we are gonna go and have a look soon and you see that xb has been defined as a faces let's go and have a see the property of this vent by clicking on material this is the only difference between uh, fds and uh, blender you will see the surface uh, property inside the material tab. In fact, if I click here, you will see that you have all the property of the burner. Then you can see here that we can change the color by double click on it. Potentially, we can change whatever color you want. But the most important information are right here that define the combustion property and the combustion growth rate based on the literature. The final element, let's go back to object, that we want to check is uh, the slice that is in this uh, uh, 
a file if we click on it you can see in the fds panel that is defined as a slice and it's specify as a name that is gonna capture the information about the temperature here you can see that you have the quantity temperature but of course you can go here and change and put other information like like velocity or whatever is the slice gonna visualize for you here is defined as a plane and you have the possibility to have a vector in this case because our temperature is a scalar we are gonna have vector of the flow rate i guess you can get the visualization of the center of the individual mesh or you can unclick it and you're gonna have a smooth visualization of the change of temperature in the scenario let's go and run on it if you press here run fps you're gonna get a problem we'll see soon that it's giving you here a warning that blender this blender file needs to be saved first so i'm gonna do it and save this scenario so i'm gonna call this scenario test one and save it so now what we can do is run fds and you will see that the fds the fds file is gonna be open and the simulation is starting in this case we set the simulation for 60 seconds while it's simulating we can even open here smoke view and have a look at what the simulation look like so smoke view has been open and if we press on the right with the right click of the mouse we can go and see the visualization of the flame and we can go and see also the visualization of the smoke so you can see that now we have stream 20 seconds of simulation while fds is still simulating i hope this small tutorial is going to help you to familiarize with the blender fds bfds and uh, as always if you like this video don't forget to press like and subscribe to this channel and please ask in the comment if you want new customized video to investigate new feature to learn together how to use blender fds or any other fire protection engineering tool i'll do my best to create a video for you bye for now and see you to the next episode